Man, good morning. This is Billy with Apex Alchemy. I'm uh, here today alone. Uh, Courtney had to uh, uh, go teach some summer school. Uh, she's a teacher, and, and uh, she's uh, filling in for something. So I just wanted to do a recap on the Blade Show. Uh, this was Blade, Blade Show East with uh, you know in Atlanta, 2023. I'm pretty much doing this for memory's sake for myself. I post it. More than welcome to enjoy it, but it might not be what you're looking for. But it's just a recap of my experiences at Blade Show 2023, just in case you are happen to be watching. I want to remind everyone of the 750 subscriber giveaway that we currently have going on. This will include a Rosecraft Mohawk. That's Matisfaction's favorite knife. It will include a Kershaw monitor, wherever that, there we go. And, um, uh, which is one of the modern, you know, it's one of the Kershaw's it's a flipper with a Duralock, I believe that's what they call it. Yeah, that's what they call it. Very smooth little knife, and it will include a 4 Max Scout uh, by Code Steel, and it won't be this one. This is mine. It's it's abused. It's used, and you don't want it anyway. But even if you do, you're not getting this one. Okay, let me recap some of my experiences at Blade Show. So we showed up. At Friday, we, we did a lot of stopping on the way when we left Tennessee, when we left West Tennessee, we were supposed to arrive in Atlanta around 10.30 p.m. Uh, accounting for the, the time change, it would have really been 11.30 in, at Atlanta time, um, or, or, or East Coast time. So, uh, so it'd been, it should have been about 11.30, but we, we ran into a Bucky's, and, and, and who all went on the trip was me and my wife, Courtney, and my brother, Michael. We ran into a Bucky's. We wasted a lot of time and money there. Uh, we we stopped to eat uh, once before that, and uh, we wound up checking in the hotel around 1 a.m. And then we walked over to and we stayed at the Hampton Inn. The Hampton Inn was not the closest Hampton Inn, but it was the easiest Hampton Inn to get to to walk to the to the show. It had, it had a tunnel that you could walk over and ended at. Uh, the residence in, or the Renaissance Inn or the Renaissance Hotel or whatever. <clears throat> okay. So uh, my intentions there were not to buy a bunch of knives and I didn't buy a bunch of knives. I didn't, you know, my intentions there were to shake hands and and uh, meet uh, as many of you guys as possible. And I got to meet a lot of people and I, I failed to meet some, some folks. But Saturday was about the only day that we actually had to run around uh, we, we got to the pit around 2.30 a.m. on Friday night, and everybody was gone already, and that's totally cool. We went, we walked back to the hotel, and we got us a few hours of sleep. We got up and made sure we were at the door when it opened. Um, first person I talked to down there was Ken Faulkner. He, uh, he told me he was going to be at the Rosecraft table, and it took us a few minutes to get over there, and we probably barely missed him. But a few minutes later, we did link up. While I was there, we, we, we bought a few knives from Swags, uh, we, or uh, from Rosecraft, I guess. We had a good conversation with, with Hawkins Rose. I uh, had a little bit of conversation with Andy, uh, and, and, but, uh, but had, a, had a, a lot of conversation with Swags. And this, uh, we had found this little koozie, actually, on the floor. You know, uh, so we, we kept that. We, we found this Friday when we walked to... Uh, to the hotel, it was just it was just laying in the in the pit. So uh, I picked that up, and I was like, "Well, I guess that's our first souvenir." So we uh, while we were at Rosecraft table, we we bought a few knives. We will do the unboxings on these later. I don't I, I don't want to get into all that right now, but we got the uh, Judah and Brown. Some of these Courtney picked out. Some of them I picked out. We got a Barra Black or Barra Black. And this one is the OG. OG? I don't know. I do like it though. Like, uh, I, I will take this one out. Uh, that's what it looks like. It is a, I, I believe, man, I may be wrong. This, this, I thought it was a Swags model, but it might not be. I don't see her signature on there. Regardless, pretty cool feeling knife. It feels great in hand. I love the thumb studs. All right. Let's not talk about the knives though right now. We got plenty of other stuff to talk about. All right, so there's a Rosecraft. Uh, uh, we, we got lots of stickers. 
we got some challenge coins from Swag, so she she handed us uh, like three challenge coins. We'll probably just give those away on the channel. Um, make you keep one or whatever, and give the other two away. I don't know. I don't know what you're supposed to do with these things, but um, she gave us three since we bought three knives. All right, so that was our Rosecraft experience. We did meet up with Ken Faulkner very soon after that, and he was telling us about a lottery that he wanted to get back to, uh, a raffle lottery, something like that, at the Crispy Donut Community Channel. I mean, I'm sorry, the, the Crispy Donut Community Table. Uh, uh, while we were there, Courtney found one that she liked. It looks like that. Uh, had some conversations with that guy. I was telling him how I, I thought it was funny. I thought it was a joke. I thought it was like Photoshop whenever I saw him post the, uh, the Medford uh, Praetorian on there that he, he did his designs on on Instagram. And he, uh, you know, we, we shared some laughs and some conversations about that. Um, so Mr. Ken Faulkner led us here. Mr. Ken Faulkner also led us to this table. It was a Michael Morris table. And uh, th this knife, I'm, I'm incredibly impressed with. It's, uh, it's called the, the Morris Strider. And I was like, oh, okay, does the mix Strider have something to do with the design? He said, no. He said, like, it's, you know, like, he said, I just, you know, as in Strider, the word, like, 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 he said, I feel, I feel like this knife strides well. And, yeah, you know, so I was I, I don't know if I insulted him or not, but if I did, Mr. Michael Morris, I apologize. Mr. Michael Morris also, he lives right around the, the corner or next door or a couple houses down from forest who makes all the hanks and while i was there uh shortly after i picked up this knife i ran into mr dopey and dopey hooked me up with this uh this this forest hanks he was you know, i met forest and dopey at the same time so i'm gonna have to get with mr forest we're gonna have to figure out some stuff for some hanks but this is a beard of doom um yeah hank and uh, you know most of you guys probably know who beard of doom is if you don't i check out his channel i got an incredible channel and uh i love i love sitting in on his lives uh, coffee with doom and uh anyway this uh this will lead me to the dopey experience and dopey man like uh i i, I probably had more one-on-one -on -one time with uh dopey than any other person that blade and I, I was incredibly grateful. We, uh, you know, when I did run into to Dopey, I, we also ran into said Steve, and God, there was a, a group of them. So like, Force was in the group. Scott N was in the group. He does the schedules for uh, all the lives that I usually screw up, you know, and I don't stay on schedule. Uh, but uh, Dopey handed me all these knives to do reviews on. So these are loners, or well. He gave us these knives. He said, "He said, man, this knife is for you. Like I think you'll like it. I think you'll enjoy carrying it. I believe he may have done the anno work on on it. I'm not sure. It's a CRKT Montosa, and I'll, I'll get that information all lined out before we do a video on it. But I do like it. First CRKT knife I've ever owned. And he gave us this Kershaw." do as we will and Courtney actually really likes it uh, and I, I mean it's, it's got it's got great actions it feels like it's built very solid I'm, um, I'm not sure what the model is and then he gave us a cold steel pro light he said I know you're a cold steel fan it's got a triad lock he also though gave us uh, uh, nine knives uh, uh, to to, to loan that I'll, I'll be shipping back to him and we'll get into those later because that would be a very long video if we if we talk about it now uh while we were push those to the side where did chavez okay so i walked up to the chavez table and i handed him my uh chavez redemption 229 this ultramar and he, uh, he he took a hold of it, and I, the look on his face was priceless. Like if, like he, he, uh, he, you know, when he saw the contoured handle, he held it in hand. He, he he said, "I love the way that fits in the hand. 
I told him about Mr. Satu Dave was the one that did the contouring on the scales, and we had a uh, uh, time to have a pretty decent conversation with Mr. Chavez before his table started getting overrun. Uh, before it did so, um, I, I saw he had some wallets sitting to the side, and I bought one, uh, but like, it, it's it's a very simple wallet, you know, it's a, it's a, like a minimalist type wallet. I, I may not carry it, you know, I don't, I don't know, but it's, uh, it's, you know, just, I, I didn't really want to, I, I didn't really have it in the budget to buy another Chavez knife while I was there, so like I wanted to buy something off the table. I tried to buy a t-shirt first, uh, sorry, I just pulled this out of the dryer, but um, I tried to buy this t-shirt, it was on his table. On the, on the back, it, oh, sorry, it's all sideways. On the back, it, it has this logo. On the front, it says, hi, my name is, and you, know, you write in the blank, and I'm addicted to knives. And uh, he was like, no, you can't buy that, it's for free. He said, you can have it. <clears throat> so I led me to Mr. Satu Dave. I met him shortly after. I told him I told him about the Chavez, you know, experience. I'm not sure if Dave got a chance to go over there and talk to him himself, uh, but um, that was that was probably one of my highlights of the trip, you know, because I, I was telling him the story about the knife in, in general, and we got to got to share that experience with the maker. Uh, even though I know this is, you know, uh, an Ultramar, uh, like so, it's not a custom or mid tech. He didn't have his hands on it, I'm sure. But uh, you know, it was still cool to be able to share that story, and he he, he seemed to enjoy it as much as I did. So, um, very grateful to be able to meet Mr. Chavez. Where are we going now? We stopped by Niagara, and we talked to him about some crucible stills and heat treat processing and stuff like that. They gave us they gave me and Miss Alchemy a, a shirt, and it's probably one of the coolest shirts. Like it's uh. Well, I just got it out of the dryer. Got hair all over it already. But uh, so it's proudly manufactured in the USA. 1982, Akron, New York. Got Crucible's logo on the on the sleeve. It's a pretty cool shirt. Um, so we only really had Saturday to run around, and we. Ran into a lot of people, but we also missed running into a lot of people, and for that, we're sorry. Uh, by the time Saturday was over with, we, we did get there at opening time. Uh, we ate a very, uh, well, I, I won't complain about it. You know, we, we ate the hotel breakfast, and then we, 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 uh, we got over there to the show, got parked, and we didn't leave until about 5 p.m. Uh, we, we we didn't see anywhere near the amount of stuff that I thought we might see, and we didn't run into nearly the amount of people that I thought we might run into. But as a group, by the time it was all over with, we were pretty tired. So we went back to the hotel, got a shower, got cleaned up, with the intentions of going back to the pit and on Saturday night. And I was uh, just about... Uh, I, I think you know all of us were collectively about ready to to hit the bed. Uh, we did show up at the pit Saturday night very briefly. This is where Dopey told me he said, "Man, I'm only going to be here for about another hour in the pit, and then we're going to somebody's house." Uh, so, like, I, I need to hand you off some knives. So we 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 drove over to the pit, met up with Dopey briefly, uh, where I met uh, Sharp uh, Sharp AF. His his knife channel, and uh, another couple guys, and Dopey handed me those knives that I showed you earlier. <clears throat> it was um the I bought a bag. The bag is way big, dude. I, I'm I'm not gonna be able. To, I mean, it's not really, but it's it's too big for this this landscape. So like I may have to have help with Courtney later, but it, it is a bag quest. It's like a messenger bag of some sort. I can't remember exactly. I think they call it the Gopher 12 or something like that. And I'm, I'm impressed with the bag. You know, like, uh, I'm not sure if I got a good deal on it or not, but I, I don't feel like I got ripped off. Uh, we got the, you know, my, my brother bought a hoe while we were there. They got a breakdown mat. Uh, so, like, uh, that's that's cool. Uh, Michael gave me the breakdown mat. 
I, th- I think Dopey actually picked it up. It was like, hey, we're taking this. You know, like, I think they were free, though. I think they were just, uh, they were handing them out. But, yeah, Do- Dopey and, and Michael uh, kind of saw eye to eye on, I mean, I, as, as well as I, I do as well. Hogue makes some great knives and definitely supporting uh, Doug Ritter uh, any, any, any chance we get, right? We got a lot of stickers that I'm not going to break out right now. Courtney wants to share those. That's totally cool. But, like, I believe... I believe that's going to be the basics of the rundown. We got up Sunday morning. We cut we cut out. We stopped back by a few places on the way home, and it was pretty much over with. And you know, like so, we got we got one full day at Blade Show, and uh, we had the intentions of maybe going back Sunday. We're old. We're wore out from walking all day Saturday, and we decided to. Uh, just kind of preserve our energy, you know, and, and just get home. You know, like the, the, you know, the other, Michael, my, my brother and Courtney both had to go back to work today. So it was, you know, like I wasn't in the same boat. I, t- I took Monday off, but uh, they uh, they needed the day for, for, you know, like just kind of recoup, you know, uh, and, 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 and get back to schedules. So like that was, uh, it was, it was a very, very awesome experience, you know, and Michael, when I, when we dropped him off at his house, he was like, Blade Show West, in like 140 something days, or I can't remember exactly how many days it was, so like, uh, we, uh, we, we have talked about just, uh, you know, going to Blade Show West, and, and maybe trying to be a little bit more prepared, we'll fly into that one, I think it's being held in Salt Lake City, Utah, uh, if, if we go, you know, like, I, I think plans of, as of right now, are to uh, show up to, to Blade Show West, and uh, he mentioned Shot Show as well, which I think is usually in Vegas. So we'll uh, we'll see how that goes, man. But this is just pretty much our rundown. There was a lot of people I didn't get to see. Edgy American, Scab, I, man, I never I never saw you guys. I'm sure you guys were busy doing doing your thing, and and like I'm not, I don't take it personal. You know, like uh, I know. I, I saw Shane was like, man, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't get to run into you, man. And uh, like, no, it's it's big, man. There's probably fifty thousand people there, you know, like, uh, with without exaggeration. So like, uh, you know, I'm sure we could have linked up on phones and made it happen, but like, naturally occurrence, you know, like natural occurrence, uh, you know, like probably would have been pretty rare. Place, you know, like the the, the show's big. And I'm I'm very grateful for everybody I got to meet. If I got to shake your hand, thank you um, for all the makers that I met. I'm extremely excited about new relationships that uh, that are or maybe not exactly relationships, but you know, like just being able to meet new makers and and have talks with them. Oh, snap! I got this I got this shed knife too. Uh, Courtney picked this one out. This was like her her uh, bigger knife uh, like and we will do a video on this one uh, later on tonight and uh, you know, like an unboxing but yeah uh, th- this was a nice knife as well but like so we got to meet um, Jack Billings and discuss his knife making techniques and uh, and it was kind of cool because I've seen his, his, his uh, interview with Bob DeMarco got to meet Bob DeMarco by the way got to meet Jimmy Slash there was a lot of people, and Jimmy Slash, you know, like he was the one, like he, he had me a five max, you know, and we were, uh, we were sitting over there playing with the spotters and stuff, and uh, Dave was at the at the table while we were doing all that. It was man, it was very fun, man, very fun, you know. And I I got to see a lot of stuff I didn't expect to see, and I didn't see a whole lot of stuff that I I, I really wanted to see, like West Crawford's table. I no, not only did I not see it. But I don't even really recall looking for it, you know. Like it was, it was kind of interesting because I, I was like, that, "That's one thing I'm definitely gonna do when I get there." And when I walked in, like all plans just kind of went to hell. So that's my. That, this is our. This is my 2023 Blade Show recap. Uh, when we do our unboxing of this shed knives later on tonight, uh, I'm, I'm sure Courtney will probably want to talk talk about some of her recaps as well. And of course, she'll probably want to correct me on some stuff or fill in some blanks that I left out or whatever if she happens to watch this video. Thank you very much for sticking around. Subscribe if you haven't already and by all means, 
you know, like the video and leave a comment. Until next time, we'll catch you on the flip side.